Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here and thank you for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be a weekly festive vlog. I'm really really excited for it. I've got lots of things planned this week. I'm off for the whole week apart from I've got to be at uni one day uh, which is Tuesday so I'm going to spend the day studying that day but the rest of the week I've got lovely things planned. I'm just heading off in a minute to go meet my friend and we are staying away in a beautiful hotel on the Isle of Wight and we're doing wine tasting and just having a really cozy evening and they have like a log burner in there so we plan to just chill and then maybe do a little bit of Christmas shopping or something tomorrow I'm not really sure we haven't discussed what we're doing tomorrow yet Wednesday is Ollie's birthday so I don't know maybe we'll go out for a meal or something and I also have a riding lesson booked in the afternoon I have started horse riding lessons which is really exciting so I've got that on Wednesday and then Thursday me and Ollie go away for a few nights away with the doggies and we're heading off to a little wooden cabin with a hot tub in the middle of nowhere for a couple of nights and I cannot wait so yeah I can't wait to take you guys along with us for this very festive weekly vlog actually me and Ollie are also doing wine tasting when we're away as well which is quite funny <laughs> I've got two wine tasting trips in one week so that just shows how much I love wine and hopefully a bit of Christmas shopping maybe we can find a Christmas market somewhere but yeah really really excited for this week and I'm so so ready for it as well I just feel like this is my week to get into Christmas and all of that so yeah hope you guys enjoy spending the week with me and I hope you're all doing very well we have arrived at our hotel oh, it's so cute isn't here's it? Emma Hi. you've seen um you've seen Emma before in the videos um but yeah we've arrived for our cozy little well it's not really a whole weekend well it's sort of this it's a mini weekend Sunday Monday weekend away yeah um so give you a little room tour it's so nice here we actually stayed last year and we had a different room, we had one with a bath in, but um, this we thought we'd try a different one, so I'll show you this one. So we are in room five, and as you come in, you have this little dressing area here with these, look at these lights. I just love like the decor in this hotel. Oh, so nice, isn't it? Don't you think if you were to style your own house, like me from scratch, this is exactly oh, yeah, how I do it, like the panelling, yeah. yeah, it's so nice. Maybe it's not the blue. genuine. Like real don't, they've renovated yeah. the whole hotel, haven't they? But it does look pretty, actually, looks proper, doesn't it? Funky. Yeah, look at that radiator. And then um, you have the bedroom area here, and then some nice little tea and coffee bits. Last time we had a sea view one, a lot of them have sea views. I think we might have a peek. I'll have a look now. Um, You'll be able to see it. Yeah. Should we yeah. see? Oh, yeah, look. Oh, it's, it's a nice view, actually. We've got a little bit of scaffolding going on here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. You can see the sea. This is um, cute, the little seating area. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? A little glass of wine. Yes. In the morning. So nice. Um, oh, bathroom up here. Also, the sink, the sink is so nice. Is it? How nice to have these steps in the room as well, which makes for like a little house. <laughs> And this is the bathroom. Oh my god, look at this sink. It's cool, isn't it? That is so cool. Love it. Love that. <laughs> Mirror. Two. Lovely big massive shower actually. Look at that. Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah. Fresh white fluffy towels. Ooh, do they have them um, toiletries? Perfect. Shower gel, shampoo. Oh, yeah, what have we got? La Eva. I've not heard of that one. No, they had that before. Did they? Yeah. They that. Oh, they got some more in here as well. Let's see what these are. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> what have you done there, Emma? <laughs> got, <excited. laughs> got very excited over the room. <laughs> that smells Smell nice. nice. <laughs> yeah. Then we have these as well. So yeah. We shall have a lot of fun in here, I'm sure. <laughs> my hand I haven't said what the hotel's called, actually. It's called the Terrace Hotel in Ventnor. I'll leave the information for it linked down below in case you're visiting the island or if you live on the island like us and you want somewhere nice to stay. It's really, really lovely here. Anyway, hope you enjoy spending a few days with us. Oh, 
dark movie to be sort of ready pink or is it quite it's a light pale, yeah. pale? pale still looks pale still mm -hmm. um, it's quite dark mm -hmm. at the edges yeah that's yeah. yeah it's so, quite a bit darker at the edges yeah, yeah so it kind of it almost <laughs> just fades out really yeah I know the light in here this isn't like, the best <laughs> ombre ombre <laughs> hmm, good word <laughs> but it does start mm. to fade towards the edges which is something that people will always look for in their mm. line when it comes to rosé, everyone comes in, they want a dry, pale rosé. Yeah. Oh, That's what right. everyone asks for. Yeah. Everyone. <laughs> so, we'll give it a test. Give it a little swirl, see how the legs look to be. Ooh, we've got lots of legs. Lots? Yeah. Oh, There's loads. Glass. Apart from when the glass is pulled up. If you swirl them all. I've only got that one. Thank you. I am ready to go downstairs, drink wine, and eat snacks. And yes, I am going out in public dressed like this. <laughs> Trying to be cute, decided to put face masks on. <laughs> this is not cute. The scariest face masks ever. <laughs> <laughs> They're awful. This is not what people do. I think people normally have the nice, pretty, like, painted face masks. And I just thought... Cutesy ones. Yeah. And I thought it'd be cute and get some of these face masks to go for our lovely hotel stay. <laughs> and this is what we look like. Rosie came out the bathroom like this. I didn't even know she was putting her face mask on. I screamed your chins with me. Chins going off. I'm trying to keep my lip in. <laughs> going my lip's around. gone. Like it's in my mouth. It's actually in my Your mouth. top teeth show. My top teeth don't show. <laughs> <laughs> Your bottom <laughs> teeth. <laughs> no, they're out. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully our skin looks nice and glowing <laughs> after these. It's worth it. It's my hair as well. <laughs> yeah, mine is too. It's not nice. Mm. Hope you worth it. Crisp white bedding. What more can you ask for? I know the Santa Claus is coming. Oh, there's like <laughs> the a whole load of builders there. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Oh. I don't want to sleep naked. Wake up with a smile. The feeling is right today. Magic in the air. with Emma I did not do any talking vlogging today at all I kind of just filmed little snippets of the day but basically we got up had a quite a nice lazy morning really and then we had a lovely four course breakfast that they do at the Terrace Hotel and then we had a look around the town where that's based and then we went to another town and we've basically just been looking around little cute independent shops and buying little Christmas gifts and stuff so had a really lovely day but Unfortunately, I do struggle really badly with um, travel sickness. Car sickness is my worst. The place where the hotel's based, it's, it's a lovely area of the island, it's called Ventnor, um, but it's uh, it's a very windy. If you live on the island and normally watch my videos, you'll know exactly what Ventnor's like. It's just, it's on a hill, it's, all the roads are like this. One of the roads is actually called Zigzag Road, and so it's like this. Yeah, I just started to get really sick in the car. Normally, if I just get a little bit sick, 
once I get out of the car, I'm okay. But this one got particularly bad that actually I was struggling all day to even talk because it like continued throughout the whole day and I felt like I was actually gonna be sick. So I didn't do any vlogging. I just filmed where I could. Um, yeah, so I hope I wasn't too quiet. Well, I was quiet today because I just physically felt like I couldn't speak. But I just wanted to let you know now that I'm home and I've had a lovely, nice day and I'm gonna actually put my comfies on now and go and curl up in bed and maybe have a little bit of a nap. I think it's only about five o'clock, so it's quite early, but um, maybe just have a little sleep trying to get rid of this sick feeling because it's just so frustrating honestly it's really debilitating i was really bad as a kid with it um but actually as i've got into adulthood and as i get older it's getting worse and worse unless i'm driving if i'm a passenger it's terrible and yeah it just really throws you for the whole day i just feel like i need a little sleep um, and then tomorrow I'm going to be doing my studies, which I told you about earlier on in the video. So I won't vlog anything tomorrow, but then I will vlog Wednesday when I've got my horse riding lesson and it's Ollie's birthday. So hopefully you might be able to get him in the vlog or something. I might book a little meal out or something Wednesday evening. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. We had a lovely time away and I'd thoroughly recommend that hotel if you're ever visiting the island. It's so nice. Good morning. I absolutely wasn't planning to film today. But I woke up and I was tidying up my room, just getting sorted out um, to go to uni. This I'm still in my pyjamas, I'm not wearing this, I'm gonna get changed. I thought, oh, I didn't really show you a few things that I got from my Christmas shopping yesterday. I didn't get much, but I thought I'd go through it with you. And then I also had a really exciting delivery this morning from Abbott Lion, which is a jewelry company. I spoke about them last month. Um, they do gorgeous, non-tarnishing, like personalised jewellery and yeah, it's just all really lovely stuff. And they have sent me over a ring that I designed and I had actually planned to put this in my gift guide video because I felt like this would be a great Christmas gift. But because it was personalised, it did take a little while to come, which is a little bit unfortunate because I'm uploading this video on Christmas Eve. So I feel like it's slightly difficult because you're not gonna be able to order this in time for Christmas now. And I really wanted it to go in my gift guide video, but that just hasn't happened. But I wanted to show you it anyway, because of course you might have never heard of them or you might just wanna order something for yourself anyway. You might have got money for Christmas. So you sort of fancy getting yourself a nice present. And yeah, I just have to show you this ring. I did already rip this open as soon as it arrived this morning because I was just so excited because I know what this ring looks like. So yeah, I was really excited for it. When you go on the website, they have like necklaces, bracelets, rings, uh, you know, all types of jewelry. And yeah, you can do designs yourself. With the ring that I've got, it's a fidget ring, which is so nice because I'm forever like twiddling with my rings. Um, so this one, I'm going to have it on this finger here and it is one that has like the little twiddle bit. Anyway, I'll stop talking about it in opening because it's so gorgeous. So packaging, also I've not really shown you properly. The packaging is really nice. You get this little booklet with it um, and it gives you a bit of information about the brand. And then you get your little polishing cloth in the set. And then it comes in this little envelope here and... I really hope you can see this on camera good enough. I'll add in some little close-up clips if you can't see it, but I hope you can. Um, but this is the ring that I went for. So you can see it is a gold ring. And then this piece in the middle just turns. And oh my God, I love it so much. So my design was, I'm definitely going to show you some close-up clips of this because I'm not going to be able to show it very well, me holding it to the camera. But my designs are, I got one gold uh, crystal, then I got a B, then I got a little paw print, then I got a D, and then I got another gold crystal on the end. And obviously that is for Belle and Dylan, my dogs. And oh, I just honestly absolutely love this. That paw print is so tiny and cute and it fits me perfectly. They do have like a sizing guide on the website so you can obviously measure up and get the right size and stuff. But this is how it looks like on and yeah, I love it. So I'm gonna be wearing this as often as possible. It's really nice. I love how chunky it is as well. It's a real kind of like statement piece. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that because it has arrived and I'm really sorry that I didn't manage to show you it in my gift guide video, which would have meant you could have ordered in time for Christmas. But then to be honest with the personalized stuff, because it's obviously handmade for you, um, it can take a couple of weeks for it to arrive. So um, it might've been tight for Christmas anyway, but if you are thinking about getting yourself a little gift in January with your Christmas money, or if it's someone's birthday coming up or something, it's a really, really lovely gifting idea. And I also just love the branding of the brand as well. It's just lovely. Okay, next up. Um, so I did mention that it was Ollie's birthday, so 
this is in a meeting in the other room, so I'm hoping you can't hear me, but we're actually going away um, in a couple of days for that anyway. So I, we're not really doing, I'm not doing presents as such because, you know, we've got a couple of nights away. We're going to go out for a meal and do stuff on that trip. So we're not really doing presents, but I did pick him up a lovely card. This is the St. Catherine's Oratory, which is, I think that's how you say it on the island um, and we walk the dogs up to here quite often so when I saw it um, in this was just in a random post office um, I was like right that'd be the perfect birthday card for him and then to go with it just so he has a little something to unwrap I spotted this calendar which is a border collie calendar of course we have Belle our collie yes yeah, she looks very similar to that I mean collie's look very similar don't they so yeah i picked him up this calendar i also picked up a bunch of christmas lights um there are 480 christmas lights here and they're micro star garland lights and i'm actually going to attempt to put these in the front of our house outside i've never ever decorated a house before because it just i don't know never get round to it and then it's too late and i don't know i've just never really decorated a house but i just wanted to put a little row of lights on the front of our house and i saw these in we have a big shop on the island called busy bee which i might take you to at the end of this week it's a massive garden center but from like september onwards they turn it into what they call christmas world and it's just filled with christmas i mean it is literally like walking into like santa's grotto in there it's just filled with everything um, and this is what I got from there yesterday. And they're really nice. They're like cluster stars on like a copper wire. So they actually look really pretty and like clustered. Uh, and I just thought they were lovely along the front of the house. And they're they're really long. They're, I think it's 14 metres long. So I don't know the exact length of the front of our house. I'm hoping 14 metres should be about right. Um, so we can get them all the way along. So yeah, I picked up those. Oh, I've got a little gift for myself from the footage that I showed you inside that beautiful little home Christmas shop, like the last sort of footage you saw of us inside a shop. Um, lovely shop, it's called Bayless and Booth on the island. We arrived, they gave us a uh, mould cider and a like gingerbread biscuit and then we could look around the shop and I did just buy one little thing in there and it was actually a gift for myself and it is this frosted reef bath melt it's just one little bath melt in here from the brand Hayland and Whittle I think I've heard of them actually um, I think I've had stuff from them before at Christmas time uh, but it says it's a luxurious indulgent bath melt packed with soothing shea butter and nourishing cocoa butter and you drop it into a warm bath and the body butter oils melt into the water. Oh, it says each bath melt is sufficient for two baths. So you can obviously break it in half. Oh, no, no. You allow the melt to dissolve to half its size, lift it out and keep it. Oh, lovely. But what I thought was amazing about this melt was how packed it was with like roses, like rose. Are these like leaves? I think they are petals, like rose petals or some sort of leaf. It's absolutely packed with them. Um, oh, and it, if you could just describe Christmas in a scent, it, this is what it smells like. It smells so good. And I'm saving that for myself because it was quite expensive. It was four pounds just for this one melt. Um, that I'm saving for Christmas morning. I'm going to get up and I'm going to have a lovely festive bath on Christmas morning. Then we popped into Boots and they were doing their three for two on gifting and they had some champagne stuff. Um, so I've picked these up just to add into the people's gifts I've already got. I just wanted to drop in a few little extra gifts. So I have here a face mask collection and you get a moisturising face mask, revitalising face mask and a cooling gel eye mask, which is the one that sounds amazing. I'm excited about that one. I might take them out and separate them and use one of the eye gel masks. And then these were what sort of drew me to the Champney stuff. They are called 20 Minute Mindfulness candles and they come with sort of 20 small candles and a little base i'm just going to open it up actually because i think i will i did get two of these so i think i might just keep one for myself <laughs> seems to be the theme of today's christmas haul um but i just wanted to show you oh my goodness look i hope you can see that okay i don't want to tip it it's all going to fall out but basically you have loads of like mini candles and this little gold candle holder which is actually like a nice weighty candle holder. And then you pop your 20 minute mindfulness candle in there, which smells incredible, by the way. Oh, it smells like a really luxury, like perfume kind of smell. And then you pop that in your candle holder like that. 
and then these are exactly 20 minutes. So maybe if you're having a 20 minute bath or a shower or you just wanna meditate for 20 minutes, like it's kind of like a timer without having to look at your phone or anything. And you can just set this candle up, do whatever relaxing thing you wanna do. And obviously when it's burnt down, you know 20 minutes has passed. And I'm gonna use these for in the bath because 20 minutes is pretty good. I would sit in there for about two hours if I could. So it'd be nice to know that I'd be in there 20 minutes without bringing my phone into the bathroom because I do do that quite a lot. I like to kind of have my phone on and well, I like watching YouTube videos and stuff in the bath, which is definitely relaxing still, but then sometimes I start going on social media and like scrolling and stuff. So maybe sometimes it's good to not bring the phone in the bathroom with me. So to be able to tell the time, bring my little candle with me. But what a lovely gift though for somebody that maybe needs to take a little bit of time out. And then last up from Boots, I also picked up this face mask, which is something I've not seen before. It's new, I think, from Simple. It's the Glow Sheet Mask, brightens and revitalizes skin for radiant glow, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and E, and that was half price. And then next up, I have something from a lovely small business that we found in Ventnor, which is the town that we were staying in. Um, and I've not actually, even though I live on the island, I've never actually heard of this uh, business before, but it was absolutely amazing. It was almost like a chemist, but for all like natural products. So the lady, like behind, there was a shop and then behind there was, it looked like a sort of little lab chemist type thing. And I think she makes all of the stuff that she sells in there in the shop. Um, and it's all like very herbal and like remedies for things without using medication. So it was a really cool shop. So I did pick up a few things in there. First thing I got was a gift for somebody and she did put a little gift wrap on for me, which was really nice. And this, actually, this is not something that she's made. This was like a few other brands that she had in the shop. Um, this, cause this is a drink. The stuff that she makes is like bath and body stuff. Um, this is the brand Hill Hassle Botanics, which I haven't heard of them. And it's a eucalyptus and honey cordial which I just thought that sounded so lovely. It says here, you can put it in mocktails, cocktails, water and juices. So you can kind of just add it into anything. And it's got eucalyptus leaves and just, you could add this into like a gin and tonic or something. Oh, it's an Isle of Wight brand. Oh my God, I didn't realize it's so bad. These are like island brands I've not heard of. Hill Hassle Botanics is an island brand. So it says here, or unless they just take the leaves from the island. Um, Eucalyptus and honey cordial, a delicate essence of hand-picked Isle of Wight eucalyptus leaves with a dash of citrus and honey. Just imagine that in the summer in a gin and tonic. Oh, so good. So I've picked that up for my auntie and uncle who I will be spending Christmas Day with. For myself again. Oh my God, it's so bad. I sound like the most selfish person in the world. It's like I go into a shop and it's like, one present for family member, one present for me. <laughs> so bad. I did get a mini one, but I picked up these, which were made by the lady I was just telling you about. And these are, the, her brand is called Soaps For Me. And these are luxurious bath salt soaps uh, with Lily of the Val Valley oil, Himalayan salt, Epsom salt, and magnesium flakes. And it says handcrafted on the Isle of Wight. And I've actually noticed she has a website, which is Natural Soaps UK. So if you're interested, definitely have a look because honestly, it, you know it's made in this little laboratory on her in her shop and it's just very very small batch produce and i'm sure it's lovely obviously i've not used it yet but look at it it just looks lovely so i'm really excited to run that in my bath and then i also picked up for my mum because she is well sorry mum like outing you on youtube but it's a normal thing for women isn't it mum is going through the menopause or maybe she has already gone through it actually um and they had these menopause support bath salts, but mainly I've got these, they ha they also had hot flush bath salts as well. And mum's always like, oh my God, I'm so hot. And she'll like have all these jumps on, and then she's like taking them all off. So I was gonna get the hot flush ones, but then they had this menopause support ones. I felt like the hot flush ones was better because she'd laugh because she always says about hot flush. But um, when I was reading the back of the ingredients of the menopause support one, it had a few extra ingredients in it. So that's why I've gone for this one. So hopefully she doesn't feel like outed when she unwraps this, but I'm sure she will love it. But in here you get Epsom salt, olive oil, you get lavender, peppermint, geranium, grapefruit, vertivert, cedarwood, clary, sage, I'm always worried I'm saying that wrong, basil and yang yang, <laughs> probably saying that wrong as well. Um, so you get loads of stuff in here and then it's just these salts. So I thought she would love that. Whoops. And then last but not least, 
I also picked up a couple of these soaps from the same shop, the, the Soaps For Me shop, and it's called Winter Night Soap, and it says on it, handcrafted on the Isle of Wight. So I just thought these were just great to add in to people's like gifts I've already done. And they were only £1.50 each, which I just thought was so great. That was such great value for something that's handmade as well. I feel like when you have to make things in small batches, it costs you so much more money. It's like the big brands can make things in big batches and they get stuff cheaper, but the small brands, it costs them more to make stuff and then they have less money to spend on advertising. And I just feel like for a small business, it's really, really hard for them to get their products sold. Can you hear the rain behind you? I've got you balanced on the windowsill at the moment and it's absolutely chucking it down behind you. You can probably hear it hitting the window. I feel like it's kind of cozy anyway that was all of the christmas shopping stuff that i got and i'm pretty much done for christmas shopping now um but yeah oh god it's hailing i've got to go out in that as well it's okay i've not got far to go right i'm gonna head off to uni and i will catch up with you again tomorrow so i hope you're enjoying the video and i will see you in the morning right i have literally not vlogged at all today I have just been really busy cleaning the house, ready to go away tomorrow, cleaning Ollie's car. This is a Ollie's like car, but this is the dog and like work car. And it's just, it was absolutely filthy. So for his birthday surprise, I've cleaned his car for him. So I'm going to go and pick him up from work a little bit later on. He's been at work all day, he went in about, well, I dropped him in about half six this morning. So I'm then going to go and pick him up and surprise him with his freshly clean car. Um, but right now I'm just at the riding lesson that I'm going to this afternoon. So I'm going to pop my hat on and go and do the riding lesson. I was thinking about asking her if she would do a little film of me, you know, going round. But I don't know because it's only 30 minutes and it's like pretty intense 30 minutes. So I don't know if I'll have time to get her to film, but maybe I will, maybe I won't. But anyway, just getting ready and put my hat on this is my new helmet that i bought myself um i got this off ebay and i'm actually really happy with it it's this really lovely brown color which i'm just obsessed with i know riding is not a fashion show but if there's any opportunity that i can get something kind of fashionable to go with whatever i'm doing i will definitely try and do that so yeah this is my new um helmet i think it fits okay i'm gonna ask her to double check it for me though because obviously i have bought this myself and i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm doing and then i just have some leather gloves as well so yeah I'm gonna go in now and do my lesson really excited I love love doing this now it's just such a nice thing and I just feel like I accomplished something when I go and do my riding lesson um, and I just do it every couple of weeks and it's just like for me to have a hobby and feel like I'm learning something new and yeah I just come out I just come away from it feeling so good um, but yeah anyway I will see you afterwards and let you know how it went if there's no footage of me actually there right i'm all done oh my nose has been running actually uh, we didn't get any footage in there like i said it's very intense and also where it's only half an hour i kind of just want to like spend the half an hour learning but maybe once i get a little bit better i've learned all the techniques i'll do some more filming then and i'll add it in some other vlogs at some other time but um yeah it went well i had a different instructor today actually and we didn't do any cantering normally i canter every time um but we didn't do any today because we were talking about how I want to get my cantering better like and not panic or move around on the horse when I'm cantering so she was actually teaching me to ride without stirrups and basically we were like trotting around with no stirrups to teach me how to sit in the seat so yeah that went really well I mean oh I think my thighs are gonna hurt because I could feel like the grip that I was doing just in order to stay in the seat but I think it's I think it went well so I feel really good but yeah it did throw me a bit having an instructor because I kind of got used to the other lady so it's like then you've got to kind of explain um how it's gone you know what i've been doing before and stuff but yeah i think it's okay see you in the morning and i can't wait to show you around the little cabin that we're staying in good morning <laughs> we're all ready for a little holiday sorry i didn't film ollie yesterday on his birthday but we'll say happy birthday to him today oh you're in the cart yeah oh, okay. we're actually pretending it's his birthday today because uh yesterday he worked like all day i basically didn't see him and then we were just like packing tired and I don't know it just felt like it wasn't your birthday mm. yesterday didn't it so today is Ollie's birthday again, <laughs> again. he is the 21. queen 21. he has two birthdays <laughs> Does the king... Ollie sorry it's raining <laughs> does the king have two birthdays now I just thought that because the queen always had two do you think the king does now I don't know it just popped into my head <laughs> random thought <laughs> Um, yeah, so we are all ready. 
all packed up in there. You can just see Dylan. There he is. He's there. Belle's currently sat down here at the moment because we're just about to get on the boat with them. Um, but then she will be going into the back. Are you going to go on the vlog, Belly? Good morning. <laughs> we're going on holiday. We're going on holiday, Belly. Yes, we are. Ollie, were you happy with your clean car? Yes, thank you. It was a wonderful birthday present. Thank you. <laughs> I actually thought it was really practical. <laughs> Because um, you always say to me, I'm always like, oh, you don't show me enough affection. And you always say, oh, I show you affection by like doing stuff for you. So I thought, I'm going to do the same thing then. going to clean the car for the birthday <laughs> present. So that is what you've got for your birthday. So happy birthday. Okay. Uh, it's not perfect, but I mean, this truck is very old. So um, I did. Oh, my truck? No, it's pretty good. Really, after I cleaned it up, it's not actually that bad. Anyway, we are getting on the ferry. I won't go on too long because this video is going to be extremely long. Obviously, it is a weekly vlog. Um, so, yeah, just waiting for the ferry and then we'll take you on our little holiday with us. So, I hope you enjoy. Now heading in here for some lovely hair treatment, which I'm excited about. I don't know what it's going to be like. It's a Vietnamese hair treatment. What are you uh, getting yourself for my birthday? <laughs> I offered you it if you wanted to have it too, but you said no. So I'm having it. So we're getting Rosie a present for my birthday. <laughs> I'm excited. Keeps us warm. We can spend the right, night. finished my little hair treatment thing. This is how it's looking. I've obviously got to style it. They leave it kind of like slightly damp when they're finished, but it was such a nice treatment. Basically, you have a neck and shoulder massage. Then she puts your head in a bowl and like washes it with all homemade shampoo, conditioners, and she did like a scalp treatment. And then um, she then got my neck and cracked it, which was a bit scary. Um, and then basically just does a little blow dry on it. And also you have a face mask, which was really weird. It was like a slimy thing. I don't even know what it was. It was thick and slimy on my face. Um, so yeah, face is feeling fresh. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. And now we are a little bit early to check in. So um, we're just going for a little walk. Um, this is like a local walk near West Meon, which is where we're staying in South Downs National Park. I don't know if I ever said where we were staying. Um, but yeah, we've got about half an hour until we can check in. So we're just coming for a little walk around here, which is lovely. We're like in the middle of nowhere, which is so nice. Um, but yeah, so the next thing I'll probably show you is a little room tour of our log cabin. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down and the storm is on its way. Everything will be okay Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin out of nowhere Holly is lighting up it's a wood burning one we've never used one of these before actually um so just figuring it out uh, basically i think you just fill it with wood you've got to keep it burning to be able to keep the hot tub hot um but the hot tub is complete at the moment it's freezing cold so i don't know actually how long that takes to heat up i thought when we arrived it would be hot but it's not you've actually got to heat it so i think we're going to put this on see how hot we can get it go out for dinner and then come back and hope that it's hot when we get back. Right, we've had a nap and now we are heading out for dinner. We've decided to walk and it is actually a 20 minute walk but in the wilderness. So this should be fun. We're hoping to follow the maps and actually get there. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of a trek, but yeah, fingers crossed we're good. Let's go. Hot tub is brewing. So hopefully when we get back, 
it might be warm. Fingers crossed. The journey so far. It's like some kind of farm at the moment. I think, yeah, down that lane. Bear right on Marlon's lane, then continue straight on for three quarters of a mile. At least it's not raining. It's actually a really calm, nice evening. Wow. Sky looks cool though. Still going. I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> so dark though. Oh my god, it looks so creepy. Oh, what's up there? We could walk up there tomorrow. Do you like the Blair Witch Project? <laughs> Not seen that film for years. Yay, we found it. We've arrived safe and sound. Let's get some nice tasty food. Tomorrow it is Christmas. The first for you and me. It was lovely, thank you. It was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Really nice pub. We weren't too sure because it was very quiet when we arrived, but then lots more people arrived. And actually the food was amazing, mm, wasn't it? Really good. Didn't manage to drink all my wine though, so look how good my coat is at carrying wine. <laughs> look at that, I've even got room for another bottle here. <laughs> Amazing, we might stop halfway, have a little swig <laughs> and carry on. God, <laughs> stay at that. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Why does it taste so much better straight out of the bottle? Cheers. What's your plans tomorrow, Rosie? We are going on a very long dog walk that I plan. Mm -hmm. I'm out of breath on this walk, which is 20 minutes. So I'm not sure how tomorrow's going to go, but it's actually four hours. Where are you taking us? Oh, I thought you'd be shocked at that. I haven't told you it's four hours yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nothing surprises me. I'm literally walking and following here because I can't see anything. Uh, well, it's like just a big route, um, but it's got loads to it, like loads of views and hopefully a pub on the way. <laughs> more, so, more drinks. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we could just get a couple of bottles and I'll just get <coughs> coat and we'll be done. So yeah, it should be a fun walk tomorrow. I'm sure the doggies will love it. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> She's been asleep. It's hot to pot. Well, it, it, will, it will look hot. Oh, but, it's but, steamy. But, but, but. Okay, put the temperature gauge in. Don't know, you, you've got to stir it. Oh, we've got this massive paddle to stir it with. <laughs> Where are you headed? <laughs> okay, check the temperature. It's there. <laughs> put your elbow in, don't you? No, you've got a temperature gauge right it's there. Is it? Oh. Ooh. Good, oh my god, Ollie, that was fine. Yeah, that is now. You said it wouldn't be hot enough for us. No, I didn't think it would be. 40. <gasps> 40, we're getting in, guys. We're getting in the hot tub. Cool, cool. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello, puppy. <laughs> you have a nice time. Good girl. That's a nice time. Belly, this way. Come on. Oh my god, it's hot. What, too hot? Yeah, I think so. Really? Ow, oh, you know that when you're in the bath and you're like, oh, 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 oh. It's like that. How's it go? <laughs> you're a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've got a thing for wine. Oh god, it's really hot. You like it hot, though? Yeah, I know, I do like it. Can we try the air, because that, that will cool it down? Yeah, I put the air in the Fresh walk after all of our wine. 
yesterday, which was nice. That hot tub last night was just so nice. Um, but yeah, now we're on like quite a long walk. We've already been walking for, I don't know, how long have you been walking for, Ollie? 40 minutes? Uh, yeah, yeah, we've already been walking for about 40 minutes. We're heading to a pub in East Meon. We're staying in West Meon. So we are heading over to East Meon to the Ye Old George Inn where we're... An hour and a half. What? An hour and a half. We've been walking for an hour and a half. Two o'clock. We left at half five. Oh, my hair looks so frizzy. <laughs> oh, right, okay. We've been a bit slow. Well, we've made a few wrong turns, so that's probably why. But yeah, that's the plan for today. Head to the pub, get a drink, and then walk back, and then we have got dinner to eat in our little cabin type. very long time so it's basically dark now the sun is just setting behind me there we didn't manage to stop in the pub I managed to film it it looked so nice but because like the walk had taken so long if we'd stayed at the pub it would have been dark by the time we tried to get home so we decided to skip the pub so we've literally been constantly walking for I don't know how many hours four about four four and a half hours and yeah we didn't take any drinks with us didn't take anything with us because obviously we had a pub stop on the way feeling absolutely exhausted our bodies are hurting so badly ollie's got blisters on his feet i'm just aching all over my hips are really bad um so the hot tub is definitely gonna be needed tonight uh and we're just gonna put our dinner on we're gonna have to go to the shop in a minute then get some more logs for the wood burner and the hot tub and then yeah basically she's gonna have dinner and chill and um go to bed early probably <laughs> So I'll probably film a little bit of what we're doing tonight, but I won't speak to you again because um, I don't feel like there's going to be much more talking going on this evening. Just chilling and eating, I think. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you tomorrow. annoyed waiting for me to go shopping happy faces making our christmas memories i've been working so much lately i can barely find the time to sleep yeah, I spend my time running around, oh, keeping no. people pleased. In the place but this is I think you pronounce it Rains, which is English sparkling wine. And I think we're going to do a little tasting session with three different wines. Um, and then also get some nibbles and stuff for lunch. But this place is so gorgeous. I'll just give you a little show around. This is our table. Look at that view. And then look at this table in the middle. We could have sat um, on the end of this one as well. Uh, but it's got a little Christmas tree. It's oh, just, it's just so lovely. Over new, Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times oh, smells, with you. smell? Wine. Baby, have a little sip. Oh, you've had a strepsil before you've come wine tasting. <laughs> For God's sake. These olives are good, aren't they? How's your wines? Really good. It's just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? We are back in the car. We've done our wine tasting, which was so good. And actually, Ollie only had like one of them because he said he felt like it was going to his head and obviously he's got to drive. So I had them all. 
Um, all right, Belle, just climbing around. We are just parked up now and waiting to get on the ferry. We've had a lovely few days away. It's been so nice. We're actually getting an earlier ferry, which is also nice. Sometimes we always like try and race to get to the ferry to get the earlier one. So we'll get home about four o'clock, which we could be home before it gets dark. And I don't know, tonight we might go out and do something a little bit festive. We are a bit tired because of our 10 mile walk yesterday. We might go out and do a little festive thing tonight, a few drinks or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed spending a couple of days with us. Tomorrow is Sunday and George, my brother, who if you watch my vlogs and you have done for ages, he has been in a few of my videos. He is back, he works away and he comes back every two months. So he is back and we're gonna meet up with him tomorrow and we're gonna head to Busy Bee to do some Christmas shopping. Busy Bee is a huge garden center on the Isle of Wight which uh, turns into Christmas world. So yeah, we're gonna be going to Christmas World tomorrow and that will be the last day of my week off. And yeah, I hope you enjoy seeing what's in Christmas World tomorrow. Hold you close, forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it is afternoon? It's now Sunday afternoon. We had a massive lay in this morning. After our few days away, we were absolutely exhausted. I'm pretty sure it's that 10 mile walk. So I didn't get out of bed till 11 o'clock this morning and I'm supposed to be meeting George and going to Busy Bee. So I'm just waiting outside his house now for him to hurry up so we can get off and go to Busy Bee and look at Christmas World and get some Christmas decorations ready for Christmas Day. How many times do I want to say Christmas in one sentence? So looking forward to just getting out and seeing some nice, lovely places to go for Christmas decorations. Making our Christmas memories Tree. And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you Christmas shop. Hope you enjoyed the footage in there. I didn't actually film that much in there. I was just like very distracted by it all. And we turned out we met my mum and my niece there as well. So that was who was with us. We got loads of Christmas decorations for George's house. So we need to decorate that at some point this week because obviously Christmas is literally, is it a week today or is that Christmas Eve? Sunday is Christmas Eve. Well, I'm. this is obviously going to be uploaded on Christmas Eve. So yeah, Sunday. So happy Christmas Eve to you all. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, I would have done all of the decorations for George's house. I think he's gonna help me, but I'll probably take over just a little bit. <laughs> I am absolutely ready now to get in the bath. I've been home for a little while and just been like lounging around, hence dressing gown and just looking like this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a lovely cozy bath now. Read some of my books. I did buy a book when we were away for a little weekend away. Um, so I'm going to finish that and just chill for the rest of the evening. But I've had such a lovely week off. I really, really hope you enjoyed spending it with me. And because it's Christmas Eve, I hope that you are having a lovely Christmas Eve, enjoying all of the festivities. And I really, really hope you have a wonderful Christmas day tomorrow. Eat lots, drink lots and be merry. And I will see you in a few days time. I'm going to film a what I got for Christmas video and upload that as soon as after Christmas as soon as possible. So that'll be my next video for you guys. But yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas and thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.